The Michigan legislature finished its 2023 session yesterday. The earlier than usual wrap up is a way to allow for Michigan's new presidential primary election date next February. And as legislators head home for the year, there are some saying this is really a good idea, pushing for the state to move to a part time legislature. Rob Maloney live in the newsroom with how that idea is playing out in Lansing. Ron. Interesting, Devin. The legislative week is usually three days while they're in session Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. They're usually under 100 seconds a year and some Lansing Republicans are saying hey that's just fine with them when it comes to making lawmaking a part-time job. Michigan senators and representatives make just under $72,000 a year with an expense account and mileage. They average under 100 sessions a year. Michigan's among only four states with full-time legislatures. The other three are New York, Pennsylvania and California. Some Lansing Republicans believe Michigan should join the other 46. State Representative Brad Paquette of Nile says it's about rebuilding trust with a skeptical electorate. We have a recent speaker going to jail for accepting bribes, a recent speaker who was living the, the high life with dark money um, and going on trips and all kinds of random things. Um, and so we need to make a sincere effort to start tracking back on some of these dishonorable actions. If passed, the Michigan Constitution would limit legislative sessions to 90 days and Paquette says could save taxpayers money by reducing legislative salaries and separate lawmakers from lobbyists. Any way that we can track back being closer to our constituents rather than the lobby corps, you know, that's a win in my book. Oh, but there's not a lot of support on the other side of the aisle. State Representative Lori Pohutsky of Livonia believes the proposal changes Lansing in a less than helpful way and force out people who are more representative of the actual working people of Michigan uh, and going to make it so that people who can afford to take time off of work are the only ones uh, or don't have to work are the only ones that are able to actually take up that role of an elected official. And I think it's overall bad. And so it's an idea that appears that a part time legislature is well, frankly, dead on arrival, likely because the governor's office this afternoon sent me a statement and in part it reads, it's curious that Republican legislators now want to push a proposal that would allow them to work less and take most of the year off. She added that there has been previous pushes to get a part time legislature and of course, those have all failed. Reporting live in the newsroom, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Time and again, exactly. All right, Rod.